For me, it's periods. For Tamara, it's mental health. For Danielle, it's about grads. <laughs> 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 You yeah, love a little like YouTube intro video. every single time. Yo, what's up, guys? Yeah. Welcome That's to our channel. That's my name. That I'll be using today. <laughs> <laughs> Meg, are you on the phone? Yeah. Hi. 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 You may ask anyone you can do that. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. What? You, you, you're a normal. You're, 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 you're still on YouTube yeah. mode. Let's go. Let's dial it down. You are like you may. Yeah. Clients will come to us with either their reputation already built up, or sometimes. They just want us to like create it themselves. But the whole point is that we are upkeeping a reputation for them. The way that community engagement does that is by making sure that the clients are showing up in the communities that they need to be in with their correct tone of voice, the right things to say, all of that. Do you want to say what this is, Amelia? This is a gift from Chris, who happens to be in the office. Happens to be at the same day. With the snazzy shirt. The snazzy shirt. What is that? I bought them at Mason. Fancy now. <laughs> Tasting advent calendar. Oh, yes! Oh my god. Do you not say feasting? <laughs> I passed my probation. I think I've got bi I'm a Billy Big Bonnet now. Trying to steal <laughs> It's a big moment for Meg because she wasn't accepted onto the vlog last week. I'm making my reappearance. What is it? Soft launch back into the vlog. Soft launch back into the vlog. Well, when like your favourite we've got, character we've got a one We've got a one week break clause. Yeah. <laughs> How to cultivate the most authentic reputation. So for me, there's no surprise that influencers like Molly May and Grace Beverly have been able to launch their own brand. Um, off the back of their influence, right? And so that's in a B2C space, and those brands make sense to them because Molly May filter, fake tan, absolutely speaks to all the pretty little thing fans and everything else. And then Grace Beverly does fitness products and then also does the active wear. We're basically reverse engineering that into the B2B space. We're taking people that already have a business and giving them the influence. The way we do that is, yes, talking about what they do is a business, how they're changing the world, blah, blah, blah. But we absolutely have to talk about them as a person. For me, it's periods. For Tamara, it's mental health. For Danielle, it's about grads. <laughs> for Tamara, <laughs> 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 it was not. You said it! Because you went, <laughs> you went, <laughs> Tarek is about donuts. Basically, we've all capitalised on something that's like intrinsically linked to us and our most authentic selves, and we're a hundred percent inbound business because of it. So, yeah. What did you do in the morning? You shat in St Pancras. So actually, Dexter, no, you've got a blind. Oh, him. sorry. Yeah, sorry. Oh, Christ, Tarek. I'm blinding dogs. I'll zoom in on him. Said, "What did you do, Dexter?" He pooed. He pooed in some. How did it feel? So embarrassing. That's actually. How did? Where was it in the station, or was it outside? No, no, it was in the station. Oh. Like right outside the Starbucks, in the middle of like where from? Oh, that's out the Starbucks as well. Yeah, no, no. So no, people no. are like eating their cheese toasty and they're just oh, seeing dog poop. Oh, there were hundreds of people like doing their morning commute. Like the last oh. thing they want to see is dog shit coming out of a dog's ass. But what can you do? Nature calls. Personal branding is an odd one because it's not something I ever really thought about too much until I started well, applying for a job at Clout. But I guess subliminally it does impact everyone's life every day. So when you have an interaction with someone you haven't met before, you're leaving your mark with that person based on how you first interact, I suppose. Um, Sam posted like a link to the other day, but like I met Sam on League of Legends like 10 years ago and we became friends and now ultimately I've got this job. It's probably a stretch to say that's entirely down to personal branding, but if I'd been, you know, a massive dick to Sam in that game, then we wouldn't have become friends and ultimately I probably wouldn't have got this job. 
Yeah, I guess just be wary and mindful of how you interact with others if you don't know them, because ultimately they could go on to have a pretty big impact on your life. The whole thing. Yeah. What have you built throughout the day, Megan Eve? My little tower. What'd you call it? Edamami Jenga. <laughs> Edamami Jenga. Edamami Jenga. Shall, shall we play a bit of Jenga? <laughs> Uh, want more? Um, oh. I don't want to touch us to life. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dexter. Do do? What a little chiller. He's literally been there all day. Yeah, I know. Is, it cause, is the heater on? Yeah. <laughs> you want a steak? Sit. Sit. Stay. 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 Santa's hungry. Oh, is he snorting? <laughs> Why is he acting like a pig? <laughs> stay, 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 stay. <laughs> oh. It's a positive and a negative that the public have very short memories. So if you somehow have destroyed your personal brand, I'm talking someone like Matt Hancock, Piers Morgan, uh, Jay Z, etc., etc., even Kanye West right now. The public have such a short memory that in a few years time, if you carry on putting out content and you carry on putting out content that people like, you'll eventually build that personal brand back up. I mean, I used, I've used the example of Piers Morgan before. He went from being probably one of the most hated people in the country, went over to America, did a talk show, um, did, said some stuff that a lot of British people agree with in terms of their views on guns, came back and now he's smashing life. He's got way more followers than most journalist, he's got his own TV show, he just interviewed Ronaldo, like, if that's not an example of rebuilding your personal brand after it being completely destroyed, I don't know what is. So I remember it was the first day, it was the first day, and Megan immediately goes, I reckon Tarek's in a pod. I had no idea what a pod was, but I was a pod. Yeah, you got the podcast, didn't you? Yeah, because I was like, I mean, I've got a podcast, if that's what you meant. And, and then eventually, when I really found out what a pod was, then I was like, I can't believe Megan Eve thought I was in a pod. So I, then I spoke to a media about it, and the media says there are certain people on LinkedIn who have these pods who comment on each, so basically they link their posts and then everyone has to immediately do it and the agreement is that you immediately comment so that you, you know, it gets reached. Yeah. So like, let's say we had a client called Bob, we had a client called um, yeah. Michaela, right? We use Bob's account to comment on Michaela's to boost it, whereas we have like a no policy of doing that sort of thing. Oh, oh, I, was very, I 